Arcage Keck W. This is something people have wanted me to watch for a while, and it's finally time for us to watch it. I remember watching, I don't remember who it was, somebody playing this game, like my friend Bogey, and then like I remember who's playing it with a couple of other people. I really wish that I had played Arcage on release, man. I really do. Arcage. The MMO that broke more nerds' hearts than the time Belle Delphine announced she had a boyfriend. To this day, many MMO fans are still- st Why did she do that? Why did she do that? Like... I don't understand. Like, what- what a- That's honestly, like... Yeah, it's- <sighs> Have PTSD over what could have been with Arcage. It even caused one disgruntled player to invest <laughs> tens of- Arcage was so fucking bad! And it was such a disappointment that Steven invested $30 million of his own fucking money to do it right. That's of great. Millions of dollars in creating his own non-pay-to-win arcade-inspired MMO. You know, the story for Intrepid and Ashes oh, of Creation cool really stemmed from my last MMO that I was playing pretty heavily, which was Arcade. And uh, I really loved yeah. that game. Like, I felt it had a lot of great potential. The, some of the design decisions really just look kind at this look of ticked me off. Look at what, whoa, whoa, hold up, hold up real quick. So this was in July and it was hot in my room and this dipshit made a trial character while I was on the call with Steven called Baldy No AC Lull. That's a good one. Wow. Real good one. Hilarious. Uh, to this day, people still lament over Arcage, perhaps more so than any other MMO in the past decade. If they released an Arcage, like, fresh server, I would play it, as long as it didn't have any pay-to-win stuff, because I always wanted to try the game out, but I wouldn't do it now. Like, it, it just, like, going into the game and, like, a, you know, like, it's already, like, fucking done. They just but did. Why? Why I didn't see it. What was so special about this tab targeting Korean MMORPG that it evokes feelings of nostalgia, frustration, and anger whenever it's brought up? Well, the truth is, Arcage was special. For an MMO that released back in 2014, this game had a ton of unique features not previously seen in other MMOs at the time. Well, the graphics were fucking amazing for the time. Like 2014 for an MMO? That's crazy. A massive explorable ocean with giant sea monster That's world bosses and ship ass. versus ship PvP yeah. naval battles. Trade runs where players could become pirates, PK you and steal your trade packs for their own profit. A crime and punishment system where you could become a criminal and go to court to face a player jury, potentially getting sent to jail. Real space player housing with really farming. Cool. The freedom to plant illegal tree farms anywhere in the world. A combo based tab targeting system. And top notch graphics for its time by MMO standards. Bro, when's this game coming out? I'm ready. I want to play it. This is awesome. With all this, many people thought Arcage had all the ingredients to be an absolute masterpiece. But with all the good, there was an equal amount of sabotage, bad game design, and publisher incompetence holding it back. <laughs> Mate, what are you doing in my video? Go back to where you came from. Hey, what about my world? What's wrong with it? Aren't you from a children's game? That is not true. Is Hero Wars sponsor? has vibrant graphics, oh, cool yes. gameplay, and a user-friendly interface. Okay, let's give it a try. Hero Wars is an idle RPG with a character for everyone, from cyborgs to aliens, vampires, wow. and of course, furries. I've been playing it for oh, a bit now, rolls. and I've just assembled my first full team. Next, I'll unlock Chabba. He's an awesome tank who literally devours his enemies. But Celeste is a real S tier. She can switch between DPS dark form and healer light form, wow. which makes her useful in any situation. Wow. Bonus points for the sexy outfit. Hero Wars is a relaxing game that you can play anywhere, anytime. It's very easy to start playing, mm -hmm. but it's also a skill to build effective team compositions to counter your enemies. For example, Mojo the Shaman can't heal Darkstar the Elf as efficiently as the good grandma Martha can. Hero Wars is a world with six unique modes, 300 plus guild war servers, and 100 million players. Play alone or see who amongst you and your friends is the top dog. Before I forget though, here's a question for you. I when wonder how many people actually play these games. I'm not sure. I mean, they gotta be popular because they keep sponsoring people.
Where can you get 30,000 coins, 600 emeralds, and 5 awesome heroes to start dominating in hero- Sorry, Lazy Peon, but I'm gonna have to do it. Where can you get that? The cash shop. Hero Wars. The answer is in the link in the description below. Play yeah. Hero Wars now. So with all the yeah. unique features I've mentioned about Arcage, why wasn't this game a massive success? Well, initially, it was, for a very short period like during the launch of the game. Arcage smashed 2 million registered players, a whole lot. but shortly after, developer XL Games and publisher Tryon Worlds managed to snatch defeat from the claws of victory. Wow. Here's how they did it. Never had Step that 1. Make the game with anti-cheat software that's incredibly easy to exploit. This is a common problem with every Korean MMO. In Korea, to play an MMORPG, you need to sign up with your Korean social security number yeah so if you get banned for cheating you're screwed therefore that's nuts bro like if you cheat in the game you cheat in real life can you imagine that korean devs don't put much effort into their anti-cheat because very few koreans cheat in the west though this isn't the case no so when arcade released in na and eu players abused dupes speed hacks bots anything that could give them which game is this about again? Did he get the title wrong? Yeah, I, I don't remember which, yeah, which, which, man, I forgot. I'm an advantage. Step two, design the entire game around a labor system that gates a player's ability to earn gold. In Arcage, you spend labor to make gold. Okay. This theoretically works fine in Korea where you've got one account due to the SSN sign-up requirements, but in the West, you just bypass this entire system by creating multiple accounts and characters. Ew. A multi-boxer's wet dream. Ooh. Step three. Ooh, I hate that. I just fucking hate that. I hate alts. Yeah, I hate, like, it, that's what I didn't like about Lost Ark. I think it's, like, actually one of the worst things about the game is the fact that, like, you kind of have to have alts in some circumstances for Lost Ark. Make Arcage so pay to win that the game was miserable for free to play. And this uh. was at a time where pay to win was much less accepted than it is nowadays. Yeah, just re release the game now. It'll be fine. Yeah, people love it. Back then, Tryon and XL Games didn't understand that whales need small fish to survive. Yes. When all the small fish quit the game, the whales would follow shortly after. And step four, constantly release fresh start servers, but due to them not fundamentally fixing the issues mentioned in steps one through three, have it be an unmitigated disaster every single time. Man, I'm glad that I watched this because yeah, maybe I would try one of these servers and like, yes, this is good to know. Bots buying up all the land, server downtime, new bugs, try on falsely banning people, not being able to take criticism, and censoring people trying to report exploits. The list goes on and on. I will say that most of the times where people are being censored by the developer, usually it, that didn't really happen. Like in a lot of these cases, it's like, okay, yeah, uh, like, you know, the the path of math thing, for example. Oh, I'm being censored? Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. So, yeah. This is why many Happened MMO Arcage? players get yeah, depressed I, I can't talking about Arcage. I'm just saying for many, experience. this was almost a dream MMO. On a surface yeah. level, it looks incredible. And to this day, there isn't really another MMO that's been able to fill the void that Arcage left. It's just that so many of the game's systems were compromised due to greedy game design, oversight from the devs, and incompetence from the publisher that the game would never have a chance to live up to its potential. Recently, Arcage was taken over by Kakao Games. Yes, that's Kakao Games, oh. the old Black Desert Online publisher. So I decided to boot up the game for the first time in two and a half years okay. to see if there's any new content added Is or if good? the game's issues have finally been fixed. Open the Kakao Games Arcage launcher and we've got two options, Arcage or Arcage Unchained. Okay. My character is on the Unchained version. Click play and wait 75 seconds down. for the game to boot up. I don't know why, but this game has always took a long ass time to launch compared to other MMOs. It's, Fin the, uh, it's the kernel level Bitcoin farming application. Uh, it just takes a while to get it all the way in and get your computer, you know, really pumping out those numbers. 
Finally, we're in. Select server. Um, what on earth is happening to my character? The last time I covered Arcage, people thought I was level 18 in the YouTube comments. No, this is Ancestral 18. Once you get to level 50, you have Ancestral levels. This is the end Paragon. game leveling system. Basically like Paragon levels. Uh, Rename my yeah. character. Check if there's any new races added. Nope, you've still got the two factions. Humans, elves, dwarves, other Holy humans. Shit. Nope, you've still got the two factions. Humans, elves, Elves. God! Oh my god! Dwarves, other humans, furries, and demon people. Click enter game and wait through a full 90 second loading screen before we're in. Okay. And yes, this game is installed on my SSD. Run around for a bit, equip my prisoner's clothes, okay. whip out the mount, and visually, I still think the game looks pretty decent. Yeah, it looks fine. Accidentally hit spacebar twice and pull out my glider. Gliders are something that I always forget that Arcage has because they're kinda overshadowed by the naval stuff. Check the mailbox and re claim some pretty cool cosmetic I bought a while back. Wow. Then I decided to go see if there's any new classes added to the game. To my surprise, yes. Two new classes since the last time I played. Gunslinger and Spell Dance. But damn, that Swift Blade intro and outfit though. Yes, please. Character customization, still A tier. Bunch of juicy outfits to preview your character in. I ran around for a bit on the gunslinger. <laughs> quickly remembered that I don't like using guns in a fantasy MMO. Wow. Went back to the main and checked the world map to see that three new zones had been added since the last time I played, with the highest being recommended ancestral level 33 to 35. Oh, he's only 18. That's a fair bit of grinding. Yeah. Headed on over to Marianopol to see if there's any players about, because so far, I haven't seen seen anyone. Uh, there's a few, but not many. Best game an ever, issue yeah. Arcage has right now is that it's an already niche game, with the player base split between Arcage Unchained and normal Arcage. Arcage Unchained was supposed to be the less pay-to-win version, but you can still create multiple accounts to bypass the labor system to get ahead. That's so dumb, man. Like, like if, if you have a system that you have, like any time I think that you can make more alts to just like bypass game systems like that, it's a problem with the system. It's just, it's a dog shit ass system. So really, as long as the labor system exists, Arcage will always be pay to win and multi account to win. Seeing that the labor system that. is still a thing and hasn't gone through any changes, drained my willpower to play more of the game. So I went to the ocean, summoned my ship and sailed off into the vast expansive sea this is never cool. to be seen again holy sh that looks badass in less than an hour and you will be launching the largest defense in the history of aurora we can't be consumed by Wait. our petty differences anymore we will be united but as the day that kittens declare with one voice we will not go quietly into the night no way Oh my god, that's so insane! Whoa! Whoa! What the Holy fuck? Bro, you can't just fucking shadow smite, dog. Okay, alright, no, fuck this that's shit. That's so I'm cool! Pay to win, that is pay to win. That is <laughs> fast tornado. Oh, don't destroy a robot! Oh, no! So you can run people- Holy shit! Through the fucking world <laughs> with the tree pack, no! Oh, okay, she's just, just playing not art, she's just entrance. playing art. We're gonna one shot this bad boy. Big, big, Is that big. honing? Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, big, big, big! It's just us, it's just us! Big, 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 big. They're all wiping, they're all wiping. Oh, oh wait, shit. what the f Wait, what the fuck? You can get a dragon? <laughs> Two... One... Please, come on. Holy shit! Oh my god, it fucking disconnected me! The so what does the future hold for Arcage? Well, on September 15th, the game's releasing what feels like it's 30th fresh start server. Will things be different this time? Probably not, but at least the game will get a short-term population boost, and everyone will be on an equal footing for a while, that is, until the people with multiple accounts snowball ahead as usual. Yeah, see, like, I would play this game on, on a fresh start server, just for content, you know, have everybody on the stream play together, that'd be cool. But, like, I just, I wouldn't do it if it's, if it's got this, like, fucking, it's got this dumb shit. 
Still though, it's an opportunity to jump in and get a taste of that arcade experience if you've never had it before. If you miss this fresh start though, don't worry, I'm sure there'll be another one in 6 months time. It's part of their business model at this point. Other than that, have you heard about Arc World? They've basically repurposed Arcage to a blockchain play to earn NFT game. Okay. So instead of just right. claiming land like you do in normal Arcage, you need to buy Oh, I can tell they're in it. You know how you can tell they're NFTs? Because they're shitty generic drawings. See, you can tell if somebody has a like if a profile picture looks stupid, it's probably an NFT. An NFT of the land. Honestly, the whole thing sounds kind of stupid. Yeah. Why would someone spend hundreds or even thousands of dollars on a land NFT when you can get the exact same experience playing the non-blockchain version of the game? Additionally, given how buggy and easily... Ex yeah, I don't think anybody's gonna give a fuck about a blockchain game until it's actually a value add, you know what I mean? Like, obviously... I don't, I don't hate blockchain games, but I don't like them either. Blockchain is not relevant to my enjoyment of a game. I do think that if you can buy and sell things in a game, isn't it kind of pay to win in that way, right? I mean, like, shit. Yeah, I do hate them. I, I just, like, every game that comes out as a blockchain game is popular because it's a blockchain game. So we can do this? I will have to stream. That's the reason. That's the selling point. has been historically. I can't really see this going too well. How about Arcage 2? That would be cool. Well, this was initially confirmed to be in development back in 2020. Uh-huh. We don't know much about the game other than it will be made in Unreal Engine 5. We'll just the bring it The game takes place in the same world as the original Arcage, yeah, but in out. a different time in a parallel dimension. Yeah, just bring the in game In 2021, out, yeah. Kakao Games announced in an earnings report that Arcage 2 won't be ready until at least... What? 2024. Well, fuck that. Considering that Arcage 1 took seven years to make, okay, I personally wouldn't while. expect anything playable from Arcage 2. We'll be able to play Arcage uh, after Ashes of Creation, guys. Arcage 2 after Ashes of Creation. Until 2026. So, is there any hope of a good MMO for fans of Arcage? Well, I think there's two games on the horizon that will yeah, appeal Throne to and Arcade Liberty. fans. That's the, other one. the first being Throne and Liberty, We're gonna play this. massive open world game releasing in 2023 by NCSoft. Been in development for nine years, it's basically Lineage 3 with castle sieges, world bosses, action combat, dungeons and raids. However, it doesn't appear to have the ocean content that Arcade has. Maybe it's Very something that they'll add at a later date though. But the big one and real spiritual successor to Arcage and Lineage 2 will be Ashes of Creation. Yeah. This is the most highly anticipated upcoming MMO, and I did a big video on it recently that you should check out. We watched Ashes that. is planning on having all the best bits of Arcage, player housing, naval combat, yeah. giant sea monsters, massive open worlds, and so on. I think we can expect to see the persistent Alpha 2 for Ashes in Q1 or Q2 2023, with a full release Q3 or Q4 2024, but that's just me speculating. It's gonna be a while. Arcage was undoubtedly an MMORPG that was far ahead of its time, but ultimately unable to reach its full potential. The memories that people had of this game during its beta testing and launch will be forever talked about with pure nostalgia. Hopefully one day, whether it be Arcage 2, Throne and Liberty, or Ashes of Creation, we'll have a game that brings together fans of this style of MMO again, to create new memories, new guild rivalries, and new drama whilst Aww. sailing the open seas as a ruthless band of pirates looking for trade packs to steal. Shout out to Hero Wars for the sponsorship yeah, today. That, oh, I'm excited in the for a game that just came out 10 years ago, man. Thanks for That's watching. Sad. Destroy that like button like your Tryon Worlds trying to destroy an MMO, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, I know Lazy Peon went pretty hard on this game, I'm pretty sure, so like he's probably upset that it didn't go that well too. Like, yeah, watch Narc's video on Arcade 2. I will tomorrow. I don't feel like I'm going to watch it today, but I might do it tomorrow. And uh, there is the video. We've watched Lazy Peon videos for fucking ever, man. People complain about release dates whenever they come out early and rushed. No, nah, it, it's w whenever that I'm just memeing, right? Like, I mean, the truth is, whenever the game comes out, I'm ready to play the game. 
That's it. Whether it's now or fucking later, like whatever it is, like I just want to play the game whenever it comes out. That's it. Did you watch the new Josh Stripe Hayes video? No, I didn't. I've been really far behind. I'm like three days behind on videos, guys. I know it's hard. It, it's like homework for me. I've got to watch so many YouTube videos. Don't worry. I'll, I'll do more of them tomorrow as well. And uh, yeah, new donkey video. I'll look. Listen, guys, I got a lot to look at. OK, uh, Arcade started uh, the whole 120 founders pack. The thing is, man, like, if they didn't do it, somebody else would have done it. Like, every game is going to do something that's going to make them money. Like, that's just the way that things work. That's the way games go. It's literally that simple, okay, guys? Like, let's be smart about this. You need to watch YouTube video. You are disconnected. Oh, that's fine. I mean, there's no, uh, there's no server cues, right? I'm pretty sure there's not. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm chilling, man. Wait, what? Oh, for a second, I was getting stressed. Games get delayed, and then they turn into New World on release. Uh, it's taken New World a year to get to a good state. I mean, like, New World got delayed because they changed the focus of the game a couple of times, so it kind of makes sense that it got delayed. Let's be honest. And Asmon posted a new video. Will you watch it? No, I won't. Like, I mean, th that video suck. Let's be honest. Yeah, they're awful. You see Donkey's new video. It's pretty huge news. No, I'll, I'll look at it later on, probably tomorrow or something like that. Uh, I'm gonna. I'll go ahead now. No cues. No. The reason why the game doesn't have any cues is because they made a second fresh start server and they allowed people to transfer over to it. That's why the cues are gone. It's not the the cues are not gone because people don't have interest in the game. It's the opposite. It's that the interest got so high that now we have two servers.